In this video, we'll go over using the tablet app that can give you information like battery voltage, battery usage, electrical usage on the input or the output of the inverter, um, and also how to control the inverter to turn the inverter on and off. Okay, you open up the app, you'll notice the demo on the right side. On the left side, you'll see your previous session and any discovered com boxes on the, on the network. As soon as you connect to one, it will end up in your previous session. So let's go into the previous session. This is your main screen that shows you everything that's going on. Right now we have 50 watts coming into the devices, really no loads uh, to speak of right now. Uh, if you want to turn the inverter on and off, you can do it by pushing the basic menu. You can see the inverters on the left. You can disable or enable the inverter. You can set your time zone for whatever time zone you're in based on uh, time zone or you can just set the date and time. You can also set your incoming breaker amp. So if you're plugged into a 15 amp outlet, you can take it down to 15 amps. You can also do it with the, with the buttons. And those are the main settings you'll, you'll ever want to get into. If the center portion, the devices, are flashing yellow, that means there's a warning. That could be a, a low battery warning, an over temperature warning, or something like that. If it's flashing red, it's a fault. Now you can look at them by going into the devices, pick your device, in this instance we only have a Freedom SW inverter, select the inverter that's, that's flashing, go into faults and warnings, and you can look at any faults or any warnings uh, you have here. You can go into historical, faults and warnings. You can clear faults if you need to. You can go into status that gives you the, the current status. For instance, we are inverting, uh, the charger is enabled, the inverter is enabled. If you wanted to uh, uh, change any of these, you go into settings and you can change a lot of your settings here. Battery bank capacity, custom charge limits, AC limits, things like that. If you just want to look at meters, which is all the, the electrical values the, the system is seeing, you can look at battery information, AC information, output energy, um, and it's cumulative. If you want to look at historical data on in a graph, you can look at battery historical data. Um, the system hasn't been long enough to, to, to gain any, any history, but you would see bar graphs here. You can look at uh, AC elect output electrical, AC input electrical. If there was an MPPT controller, you could even look at at uh, solar uh, performance. If you push the gear, you can get into the Combox setups, and this is where you would set up things like email alerts, um, uh, um, file updates uh, to update firmware on devices, um, passwords, things like that. And then you can just go to the main screen and this is where you'll spend most of your time. Basic information and basic control.